What's going on, y'all? Got two of the baddest cars out here on the market. Uh, just going to do a quick video run of these. Now, there's going to be a slight difference. The infraction has a 2200 kV motor in it, and the limitless has a 2050. So basically, limitless has the BLX system in it, and the infraction has the BLX speed controller, but with a 2250 kV motor. I did that because I was trying to just do some slight comparisons with speed and stuff with that um, but they're both going to be running 6s but the limitless has a 17 tooth pin gear in it this time and a 52 spur you guys know i was running an 18 beforehand um i just changed that out because i actually messed up um my um pinion gear in there so i'm going to be changing those out real quick i changed that out and then the infraction has a 18 tooth pinion gear on a 46 spur so there's going to be slight differences you guys will see here but i did want to do this video to kind of show you guys what was what with it so give me a second and i'm going to get these all suited up and do some quick test runs with them all right y'all first up is going to be the infraction i probably should be doing uh, my gps out here and doing some tests with it right but just mild runs with it Now, the infraction does drift more than the limitless. There's differences with that up. Oh. oh man, I know what happened. My wire just came loose. All right, y'all, we are back. Uh, nothing happened. <laughs> I know y'all like, oh man, this car broke. So, on the BLX speed controller, it has 4.0 bullet connectors for the motor, for the motor wires. But the motor that I have on here has 6.5, so I had to have an adapter put on there because I didn't want to cut those wires because the speed control I'm actually going to use that motor in uses 6.5, so so instead of cutting it, I got an adapter put on there. But anyway, what I was saying earlier is that the infraction does drift a lot more, and you guys will see that than the limitless does. Shifting too much now. I'm trying to control my throttle finger here. And part of it is the airflow and then also the aerodynamics of our design of the body as well. But it's still fun to get out and drive. You see that little smoke coming up? No, I won't be smoking no tires purposely on this video. But it is smoking them. <laughs> I'm going at about maybe a little less than half throttle. If I really get into it, like I am right here. Come on, what are you doing, come on. I'm like, what are you doing? Come on, get it going, get it going. I do need to work on my steering just a little bit on here, but. All right, so that was the infraction. So next up is going to be the limitless. All right, y'all, we got my baby out. Make sure my steering's off just a tad. So you can definitely see the difference in performance of these two. It's still getting up good though, but it is a difference in speed there because it's a huge difference in gear ratio, of course. So I may put the 
the 2250 in here, I'm not sure yet. And leave the 17, but I'm not sure. I don't know yet. I kind of liked it when it ran the 18. And just so you guys know, I put a 20 tooth in here on this um, 50 spur gear. And it did overheat after about, i say about six minutes. No, about almost a, I'd say eight or nine minutes. I don't want to say six, about eight or nine, close to 10 minutes of running. It did overheat, so. So the 18 tooth and the 50 spur was like the perfect combination for general running with this car. You guys see how a little bit more planted this is than the infraction? And it's more or less the aerodynamics too of the car, the way the body stuff is designed. They just, they just, they hit the, they hit the spot with this design. That's all I have to say. If you're gonna get an on-road car, get the Limitless. Your second choice, infraction, or get them both. <laughs> I did. Cause I like both cars for both reasons, but I tell you, I have been driving this Limitless like every day, y'all, literally. It's just the look of it, the sound of it, especially now that I redid that gearing. And like I mentioned before, if you want to do speed, it's just a swap, a quick swap of the, from the center diff over up to the spool, so. I think my battery just dumped. I didn't charge it enough earlier. All right, y'all, so more of a shorter run than I anticipated. Basically, my wire came loose on my Limitless and got caught up in this burger, so it chewed it up some, so that's kind of why it shut off. But good thing it did it there, not as I was coming down full speed or something, because that would have just been bad. But anyway, you guys see a difference between these two. I'll definitely be doing more videos of these two running together, probably taking them to a track. I did see a, a on-road track um, that's not too far from where I'm at that I can take it there and run it at, and then probably set up a course as well. And then I do have something in store for the infraction i won't mention it now but you guys will see it probably within a couple of weeks so anyway don't forget to like subscribe put your comments down below and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching